Oof, sorry guys. Good morning, it is Friday. I don't know how this vlog's gonna turn out because I'm vlogging very late. It's gonna be a mess, I am so sorry. So I just wanna make myself a quick little breakfast before washing this mask off and starting the day. I'm shooting all morning this morning and then I have two lunch um, meetings, plans this afternoon, so we gotta get going. Uh, ooh, avocado drape. Means. First of all, I just shaved my head yesterday and bleached it. But to all my baldies out there or men, y'all know what I'm saying when I say this. When you shave your head for like the first four days, your skin is popping. Like right now, like my skin is popping. Okay, so how have you guys been? I've been good. I've been chilling all week, just working in the house. Also, it's been too cold to do anything else. Ooh, good news. The collection did really, really, really well, thanks to you guys. We sold out on day one and also day two, especially those specific items, like this color, the, um, the sand brown pieces were going like hot kick. They were going like hot kicks, which is very exciting, which shows you that I'm a nervous Nelly because yo I was so sure this was just going to this just backfire on my face but it went really well I actually cried because again I was so sure I was just gonna get the call of like okay so nothing is moving we need to figure out what like the next step is blah 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 I'm glad it, it went well um, and again, it's literally all because of you guys, so thank you. I feel like I never say thank you enough to you. So, because I always forget to say thank you, 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 thank you for all the millions of times. Thank you. So that's the update. Other than that, I've just been sitting in the house, you know, just shaving my head, bleaching my scalp, all that jazz. And, um, yeah. So let me do, let me do my makeup. Yeah, I was gonna say let me do my face. I know speak English so good. Okay, so I'm ready, I'm quick, I'm cooking. What, that's a light. I am making a quick cocktail. Ooh, ring light. I am making a quick cocktail with Tank. I am the content creator for Tank, Tanqueray Gin, love it. And it's easily one of my favorite cocktails right now. I usually am more of a subtle, I don't like too sweet of cocktails. So I'm just gonna be making a cold weather, cold weather themed cocktail. So it's basically a hot toddy with gin. It's actually really, really good. It's warm, it's refreshing, not too sweet. If you're not too sweet of a person, you know what's up I got everything I need oh by the way I just got these banana fritters right here they're absolutely divine darling delicious mm, 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 mm. Mm. I'll put the details down below if you guys ever want banana fritters sorry I'm chewing you know that awkward moment when you forget to nair or shave or wax your armpits until last minute then you have to walk around the house like this? That's me right now. Oh god, my phone is ringing. 
Okay, so this is what I am wearing today. I'm wearing my collab with Itikadi. I'm seriously so obsessed with these pants. I wear them in the house, outside. These are the light gray ones. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Um, this was something that we tried out. I don't know if you guys, like, let me know in the comment section, but we tried to make um, matching crop tops, but we weren't really sure if people would actually be into it, and also sizing was a little bit of a tricky subject, so let me know if that's actually something that you guys would be into. And then Masai Blanket that I DIY'd into a cape a few years back. If you guys want to see a DIY for that, let me know. I can definitely do that. It takes like three seconds. And at Kyondo, this is from Scuola. Kenyan brand. I'm actually literally wearing head to toe Kenyan made. Head to freaking toe. Um, earrings. These are from She Art. I love these earrings. These are my African print earrings. I'm wearing a bracelet from them as well, or a bangle. I don't know what you want to call it. Mask from Boguk. Bog okay. I'll just tag the rest of this outfit down below. It's a German name. Me, I don't speak German. You know, I can barely even speak English good. Okay, let's go. Better to cry and set us free, yeah. Oh no. We're running out of space between good and bad. Running out of words to apologize. Nothing left to say between you and I. You. Good morning. Ooh, look at that waist. Ow. Ow. Hi. Ooh. Good morning. It is Sunday. I did not vlog at all yesterday. Yesterday was Saturday. After seeing my girl Lexi, I kind of just had a few drinks with her and it was a good time. Anyway, so yesterday I was just not in the mood to vlog anything. Kind of just chilled out. Hmm. So I'm wearing an all black outfit and I kind of want to look all types of goth today. Well, not goth. It's not going to be gothic at all. There's nothing goth about me. Whoops. But I'm going to be wearing a black wig and if I'm gonna, I think I'm going to wear that hat. A black wig and black booties, something a dark lip or a nude. But I'm going to have to wear a mask so I need to wear something that does not come off easily. What if I wear red? I'm thinking either this or this. Oh, it is. So this is the MAC uh, Uniformly, yeah, Uniformly Fabulous. One of my favorite shades of all time. And then this is by Maybelline. This is the Matte Ink Pioneer 20. Well, shade 20, Pioneer. <clears throat> Ooh, and I'm wearing this wig. This is from African Data Hair. I really like this, and I think it's like a really good affordable option. I'll put the information down below for you guys. Um, Cause some of my other wigs are quite pricey, but they're also custom made. So that's why I usually don't mind spending that much money on them. But um, yeah, this one. <laughs> So I'm thinking either this hat or a beret, 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 the French one. I'm thinking maybe a beret. Let's see. Oh, uh, I have gone for the beret, beret, I don't know, beret, hat. Chris is just right behind me. I'm at uh, Mr. Yao. This is the Kentrill building. I'm kind of curious, will this music be copyright stricken? I hope not. Anyways, so we're just gonna be having a nice, fabulous lunch. It's gonna be dope. So, President Kingston has arrived. 
Hello. Let's see. <laughs> oh, your hair is for yeah. wish, right? I like it. I like it too. Let me so see. Cute. I can't miss having hair. <laughs> like you can do things. Imagine. Yeah, but it's not the same. She got her fresh braids. Hey, fresh prince of Bel Air. Who am I? Who are you? Wow. <laughs> Possibilities lately, you got the best of me. Yeah, yeah. We're running out of space. So, President Kingston for. finally arrived. Hey, she's here. President Consuela. Consuela, <laughs> princess. As we drink, oh, was it purple mojito? You no, something. Um, purple, purple pina colada. Pin yeah. Cheers. Purple pink coladas, honey. Cheers, ladies. Okay, it's been real, ladies. Fantastic. Dinner. <laughs> Guy, I'm so full. I'm not even for two days. Why? Whoa. Whoa. Where am I again? Oh, Mr. Yao's. Where's Mr. Yao's? Cheers. See you guys in the morning. Hi. So, fun fact this vlog has taken me two weeks to shoot because literally nothing of importance has happened. We are on week two. Today's Friday. Shot nothing all week. I am having, what is this thing called? Those vitamin C tablet things that when you put in water goes I love them, they've been great. So I'm having half of one right now and then the other half is in my drinking water for my workout. So, let me hit the gym, aka my hallway, and then I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. Oh, that's a lie, in 35 minutes. Okay, that's a lie, maybe an hour, because I still need to shower. Yeah. Okay, I am dressed, I am ready to go. I'm having lunch with Dan. Like I was saying, this vlog has been all over the place. I really want to apologize, like I feel because I've been shooting for so long, like it's a hella uninteresting video and I am very, very sorry, like <laughs> so sorry, it's not even funny. Um, but it is, why is this not closing? But it is what it is. Um, I just need to do my lippy setting spray. I want my mascara to dry completely because I've been having issues where sometimes I'll spray my face just after applying mascara and then mascara somehow lands under here mind you i've got struggle lashes so i don't even know how that even happens my eyelashes are too small to be doing stuff like that but you know each one is so yeah i've just been in the house uh just working chilling zero anything happening um i had lunch with one of my friends mulunda so outfit of the day high waist pants crop top Cash. Yo, what? I'm so sweaty. It's a cold a glue. Oh my god. Hey, Papa, look who I'm with now. Ooh, guess who's cooking? It reminds me of the pineapple story. Cold pineapple. Ooh. Okay, so nobody gets that joke again except that Jason. Joke. Jason, that's for you. <laughs> that's literally all for you. So, what are we eating? Um, uh, coconut curry noodles. Oh. Yeah. Thanks. My heart, I never meant to hurt you. And he's an amazing cook, so that was fun. What else? Oh, 
fun little update. Uh, I did a video for Philips Kenya. You guys saw that, the food thing. And I also did a thing for them for the iron, for the steam iron. And I put it up on my IG. Uh, it was an IGTV video. And I received so many questions on how I did it or how we did it. Uh, I, I got help from the mans in that video. Um, and I thought it was really dope. But fun part is we also said put together a BTS. We randomly just shot a BTS because we were just like, you never know. And we put it on his Instagram. So um, go check it out down below. I'll put the direct link down below on his Instagram and that specific video. So it was fun. Like I just thought it was a fun BTS. Just seeing the behind the scenes for certain videos and things like that. Um, yeah, so what else? Okay, so this is what I actually wanted to end this video on. And dyslexia. I spoke about this a few, I don't know how many videos ago, but I spoke about it in another video and I said if you guys are curious about dyslexia or anything about dyslexia, um, I can do a video on it and a few guys, or a few of you said that you would actually like to get a little bit more information and I kind of still was like, that's like it's maybe not enough people who care, but then I got some DMs from people saying like they either think that like their younger sibling might have it or they think that they might have it and they just want to know how to go at it and things like that. So dyslexia, I have dyslexia, dyslexia, phone, why? So dyslexia is a learning disability. That is the, the category that it's placed under. It is a learning disability where, where a person has difficulty reading, not because they're illiterate, but the way their brain processes language, speech, and just general words. So the exact definition is, dyslexia is a general term for disorders that involve difficulty in learning to read or interpret words, letters, and other symbols, but does not affect your general intelligence. So I actually do have a very average IQ. Uh, my IQ is not lower than everybody else. It's just how I interpret words like the written word and things like that. So I was diagnosed in the seventh grade. I'm not sure what age that is. It's either 11 or 12, not 100% sure, sorry. Um, and I think it just came about when teachers started noticing that I was really struggling in like the reading department um, in all subjects. And they kind of just wanted to, you know, dot all I's, cross all T's, make sure that everything is up to par. So when we started the testing process, I know they were just testing IQs. So it was just general testing of just my IQ, basically my intelligence levels. And then when they discovered that all that was Gucci and fine, that's when they said to start testing for dyslexia. I was not sure what was happening at the time. I wasn't given a proper breakdown until after the fact. And I think the reason why they did that is just so... Um, they don't want to make you nervous or anything like that. They just want to be able to get as much information as they, as they can and they can use that to, you know, come up with the results that they come up with. So at the end of my testing period, uh, they discovered that I had dyslexia. The testing period from what I remember, mind you, I'm like turning 32. Actually, by the time this video is up, I'm going to be 32. So this was 20 years ago, so I don't remember that much. But uh, what I do remember was a long testing period. Um, I remember they would take me out of class every day for about maybe three weeks for about like 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes or maybe approximately maybe an hour. And they would just do different types of testing. The first part, of course, was just the IQ part. And then after that, it was just more of like, um, I think trying to understand where my mind was when it comes to reading and comprehension and things like that. And um, yeah, that's when they discovered that I have dyslexia. Now, mind you, I did grow up in the U.S. I lived in East Lansing, and the school that I was in was McDonald Middle School, McDonald Middle School, and it is a public school, but we, like in the U.S., they have that advantage of testing kids and things like that. So I know a lot of this stuff usually doesn't happen in a lot of schools in Kenya. I completely understand that. So I'm just giving you guys my specific story. Um, so yeah, we did the test and they slowly started to discover that I have dyslexia. And from my understanding, dyslexia affects 
people differently um so after seventh grade i had to take specific classes because the thing about dyslexia is that there's no cure for it you just need to learn how to live with it and how to make it work around you um and again i just want to really like get it like the point across that dyslexia is not the same as somebody being illiterate i am not illiterate i have never been illiterate um my mom is a professor all that and and again there's nothing wrong with somebody being illiterate uh, it could be for multiple reasons it is what it is um but i just don't want people to confuse dyslexia with being illiterate i can read it's just the way my mind processes things so from the seventh grade onwards we had to take or they had to put me in specific classes i was still taking the same classes as everybody else i was not put in separate classes it's just there was one hour each day where i would be put in a separate class where we just started to try to relearn how i interpret words and learning how to work with them so because dyslexia affects people differently my that class that i had i had multiple other students who also had the same thing and we all kind of almost had to have tutors separately so that we could you know figure out where our weakest parts were and then being able to work with those weakest parts and making them easier for us to be able to you know function in school and continue with all that now after we discovered that I had dyslexia, my grades and everything changed. I forgot to mention that. My grades before were a struggle. And the reason why there was a struggle is I would always be very frustrated when it came to homework or reading and things like that because, you know, you're giving, you need to read these chapters or this and this and this. And I would try and my brain was just not like wrapping around what was happening. And then after we discovered that dyslexia and I started doing the tutoring classes and everything, we really started, or I really started to understand what I had and learned how to work with it. So for me, the way it affects me, number one, I have really bad memory with names. Generally, if you know me, you always know that it takes me at least like seven different tries before I memorize your name. It's not, some people look at it as a, you just don't think that we're important enough to, and somebody has actually told me that before. And I was just like, you think it's fun for me to not memorize people's, like you think it's fun. That I always have to look at somebody and be like, oh God, what's their name? And mind you, I've met them before. Um, so for me, I, I struggle with names. I struggle with languages. That's one of the symptoms for dyslexia. And that's one of the symptoms that usually tends to be on all spectrums of dyslexia. Just language for me does not stick. I have taken French for five years, nothing. I took German, nothing. I've taken Spanish, nada! Except like a few words here and there somehow stick. Like, the sprechen Sie Deutsch. And no tengo dinero. But like, other than that, nothing ever sticks to my head when it comes to languages. I have to live the language for me to learn it. So for example, when I moved back to Kenya, I did not know a word of Swahili. And then I just slowly started to learn it from there. But that's just because I was experiencing it. And it just helps you learn it better versus like reading from books or just taking an hour class every single day. That's just how it works. Um, so language is a huge thing, uh, problem for me. Another thing, when it comes to words and things like that, when I was younger, the word or the letters that would be most affected are letters that kind of look similar-ish. So like B's and D's and P's, things that kind of have the same shape would be really discombobod in my head. Um, capital letters, like if they're in a sentence, that's fine. Like if it's in the beginning of a sentence, all that stuff, or in a, uh, someone's name, like that's fine. But if you give me a paragraph or multiple paragraphs in capital letters, my brain kind of goes in a fritz. Because a lot of the words, or not the words, a lot of the letters, it's not even the words, a lot of the letters look very much alike it's almost i'm just looking at like a oh, 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 oh throughout the entire thing so it takes me a lot of mental process to be able to understand if you give me a whole paragraph or give, if you give me yeah if you give me a whole paragraph in capital letters um what else i'm trying to remember like most of these things i usually don't notice until like i'm really paying attention and i'm like oh yeah that does affect me so now when it comes to the tutoring classes the things that i was taught that worked for me so that I could be able to go into college and all that. Mind you, I graduated from college with a 3.2 GPA and I did psychology and philosophy, which is a lot of reading, a lot of writing. So obviously you can function in life. Um, but what I learned through the process of tutoring was for me, the way my brain works is when I'm reading things, it's I kind of scan through 
things i know a lot of people don't make like it doesn't make sense unless you're in my head or like looking at things through my eyes but i rarely read novels for fun because my brain just it's too much so i read on a daily but I, i'm more into journals and um, like medical journals for some weird reason i'm obsessed with them i don't know why i can't explain it but i do love reading them and the way i read them to where my brain is very comfortable and i get all the information that i need is i kind of i skim skimming makes it seem like i'm just like going like huh, huh. it's it's not that like it's just for my brain to just not get overwhelmed i kind of just have to i don't know how else to explain it but that's how i was taught for me to be able to comprehend and for me to understand written language better versus other people so everybody has their own thing so for me i just learned how like i can skim the hell out of anything and i can get all the information that i need and that's just how I function and it doesn't affect me personally day-to-day -day life I, I misspell a lot of things just generally in life uh, a lot of my friends and family kind of know that and they're kind of just used to it at this point uh, doesn't yeah it doesn't really affect me much in all honesty um, again was able to finish school I've also written scripts for a living for a period of time before I just kind of stopped for like I just needed to take a break out of it and when i was writing scripts i've written scripts that ended up on bt africa um right now i have two shows that i've written on showmax um i usually don't tell people which shows some people have found them and they dm me like oh my god is this you and i'm like yes i kind of just don't tell people about it but if you ever find them dm me and i'll tell you if it's the one but just to show as long as you learn how to work with dyslexia it does not hold you back at all um yeah and that's basically my dyslexia story so if you think that you have dyslexia you think somebody that you know or somebody that you love whether it's a sibling or whoever might have dyslexia you kind of have to go to speak to a counselor first and then they can kind of tell you which direction to go and who to speak to we had counselors in my school who their job was specifically this so i was lucky in that end of things so my mom didn't really have to like look for anybody they kind of just found me because they just noticed that something was off and they um just wanted to help me deal with it and to help me fix it or at least try to fix it and then discover it oh it's dyslexia we can't fix it but we can help her learn how to deal with it and how to you know just have it be part of her life and have it not affect her much and which is what happened and it was great and yeah so that is dyslexia and that's how it affects me everybody's affected differently so that's something else that you should also know so yeah dyslexia that's it should we do a fashion haul do I have clothes? I have some things. No, I'm gonna do them in Lamu. And also, we just talked about something real serious. So I don't wanna end it with like, oh look, pretty shiny. Look how good it makes my boobs look. You know? It's just, it's just <laughs> I just don't think it's a good idea, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do is set my face, cause I'm not set it yet. Ooh, I also need to set my eyebrows first. Ooh, girl, you almost forgot to set your eyebrows. Someone was gonna hug you and take it off. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get ready for a quick lunch. I'm meeting one of my friends, Daniel Abura, for a lunch today. It's gonna be fab, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be Gucci. And then, ooh, and then, gonna be it for this week's vlog again i'm really sorry also in all honesty i don't really remember how much i've shot and what i've shot but i feel like it's not enough like it's it's boring um except dyslexia because i feel like you learned something and that's how i usually like to do my vlogs where everybody learns something at the end so whether it's recipes or whatever the case i don't have a recipe this video but you did learn something. You learned about that learning disorder called dyslexia and a lot of people have it and don't know it and are bullied in school because people think that they're dumb but they're not. They actually have high IQs or average IQs and that's okay and they're not as dumb as people think they are. Okay, cool. So see you guys. <laughs>